take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. The leaves close to the bottom are brown whereas the overall leaves and stems look bloated and feel squishy to the touch instead of firm. The leaves seem lighter or show translucence, can be the whole leaf or just patches, due to excess water breaking the cell walls. New growth will be brown. Take our lead. Since watering is the usual cause for their decay, you should determine if the plant has been over or under watered. If the stem is mushy or rotting, it's probably overwatered. If the leaves are puckered, the plant needs more water. Don't worry if there are dry, dying leaves at the base. Let's help you make your mark. Underwatering. The soil will be completely dried out and the leaves on the succulent, especially near the bottom of the plant, will begin to wrinkle. This means the plant is low on water and rehydrating with the water stored in its leaves. Water modestly and the wrinkling should fix itself in about a day or so. The 24th of September 2017. Make your mark, take our lead. If you unpot your succulents and notice their roots have turned dark brown or black, it indicates that your plant has developed infected roots. As a result, you need to treat it immediately, or else your plant will die. In case the rot spreads to stems and leaves, they will become paler and yellow. Let's help you make your mark. Repotting summer dormant succulents in the fall and winter dormant ones in the spring with give them time to get used to the new pot and soil before growth season. On average, you should repot your succulents every two years to make sure the soil is fresh and fertile and there is enough space for the plant to grow. Take our lead. Succulents can start to drop their leaves if they're kept in low light conditions for too long. You'll know that your plant has this issue if it looks tall and stretched out. So if your plant seems to be growing sideways to get closer to a window, that's another sign that lack of light is the problem. Point one nine January 2021. Make your mark, take our lead. Watch for the early signs that your succulent is in too much sun. In the same way that a succulent moves its leaves to capture more light, a plant may fold its leaves up when the sun exposure is too fierce. The echeveria above is not yet scarring, but you can see the leaves are more closed than typical. Let's help you make your mark. Watering issues if the leaves appear withered and shriveled, often from the top leaves of the plant first, the plant is most likely in need of water. If you have been watering your plant sparingly, and the leaves are starting to shrivel, you have an underwatering problem which can be easily remedied. Make your mark, take our lead. Dying leaves are a part of your succulent's life, and aren't always a sign you're doing something wrong. If you see dry leaves at the bottom, and only the bottom of your plant, don't worry this is normal. Your succulent creates new leaves, and as it does that, the old ones die. Point one zero June 2020. Make your mark, take our lead. To prevent, consider adding some materials like rocks, pebbles, stones, or pumice in the pot to increase the survival rate of your plant. 
This will allow the water in the soil somewhere to drain down as they have spaces in between, thus helping to prevent the roots from sitting in wet soil too long. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.